As winter turns to spring, this year is shaping up to be a record-breaking year for Utah snowpack. Let's look at the latest snow water equivalent data. You can see this year's total in white is already ahead of the, the readings for mid-March that were recorded during the record-setting year of 1983. Well, Good Day Utah News anchor John Franke shows us how the data is collected and why it's important to water managers. We're at the Atwater Snowtail site near the Alta Ski Area. It's where hydrologists measure the amount of water in Utah's snowpack. It takes strapping on snowshoes and hiking a quarter of a mile. But at the end of this trek, arrival at Utah's newest snowtail measurement site just off a trail near the slopes of Alta. Currently, we have 150 inches of snow depth here. So we got 12 and a half feet. Pretty darn phenomenal. Electronic equipment here, mostly buried by snow, is constantly measuring the weight of the snowpack, which delivers the precious snow water equivalent reading, letting us know how Utah's snowpack is doing. There we go. <laughs> if you see evidence of dirt or grass, you know you got the whole core. But that isn't the only reading. This one will slide down smoother into the snowpack. And this guy has a digital scale. We push the sampler all the way down until it hits dirt. Troy Broston, a hydrologist with the Utah Snow Survey, and his teammates manually measure the snowpack at each site across the state to verify the accuracy of the electronic data. The data is crucial for water management. They start looking at that data and they start planning out their summer allotment of the water. And so they want to know how much is potentially going to come into the reservoirs. So a big snow packs, you need at least two people on the tubes. <laughs> the readings on this day confirm the massive amount of snow and soon to be runoff delivered by Mother Nature. In general, if we have 20 inches of precipitation in a snow pack, that's a good year. This right now right here is double what we consider to be good. Great news for Utah's reservoirs. Well, there's going to be a lot of reservoirs that are going to be sitting really well at the end of this, uh, end of this runoff period. Uh, so for for the near future, for the summer purposes, for agriculture, it's looking pretty good. And one long-awaited step in putting a dent in the drought. You're looking at Lake Powell, Lake Mead. Those reservoirs will take a decade of above snowpack seasons. This is one of the most impressive snowtail sites in the state, and there is plenty of room for it to keep growing in the early spring. In all, there are 138 of these across Utah. At Alta, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah.